It's very clear that the politicians and the media are not listening, that they intend to try and impose Irish water despite the massive opposition to the water charges. A massive opposition now evidenced by four enormous demonstrations, the largest the state has seen in over a decade. What's clear is that mass payment will be essential to beating the charges. But we can ask just how many people are actually turning out for these demonstrations. The media is consistently trying to downplay the numbers to suggest that numbers are reducing. We were on the street yesterday and we were trying to get a sense of just how many people were actually here. The problem is, of course, from street level, it's really hard to tell because all the time you're just in this sea of people that never ends, that just passes you minute after minute, time after time. So we took a higher viewing point. This is from the window of Cleary's up at the GPO. This is to the back of the demonstration, but everybody hasn't yet arrived. Uh, you, ca you can't see the front, so we shifted to Beshoff's, and here's looking at the window of Beshoff's, and we're looking up O'Connell Street, and as far as we can see from that window up O'Connell Street, there's people stretching into the distance. Clearly tens of thousands of people, and way ahead of most of the estimates the media gave. The government strategy of trying to minimise the numbers turning out on these demonstrations has clearly failed. The idea that they could give a couple of concessions and the movement go away has collapsed. And the media hasn't really helped them. We've learned to laugh at the estimates they're giving. The real key moment is going to be April 1st when they issue the bills. Because from that moment on it's going to become clear that an overwhelming majority of the population are refusing to pay the water charges. What will the government do then? Well, they're going to be going into crisis, and one way of pushing them further into crisis is by making sure you turn up for the next, next national demonstration on April 18th in Dublin. That will be almost three weeks after the bills have been issued and the size of the boycott will have started to become clear. This is Andrew Flood reporting for Solidarity Times. Check us out on Facebook and give us a follow.